Well, it's Saturday today, and as promised, guess who showed up at Driscoll's Wharf with some fresh fish? I'll give you a hint. It's in this bag, or was in this bag, and yes, they delivered, as always. Check this out. Uh-huh. We have blue fin right here. That's gonna become some sushi and sashimi. And we've got yellow fin right here. That's becoming poke tonight. Also at the pier, we found our friend Matt, also known as Makai Sushi. Local boy from Kauai, he moved here about a year ago. He's been changing the scenes, uh, on the poke scene, and also the sushi scene, bringing local flavors and a lot of skill. I had a chance actually to try the poke today. I gotta tell you, it's, it was, Reminded me of home, but it was infused with a little bit of San Diego, and it was, usually I'm negative against fusion, but in this case, home run. Great job, Matt. Link below. Everybody check it out, and uh, without further ado, let's get to some fish cutting. Yesterday, everything went well with the cutting. The sashimi, the poke was made spot on. I was gonna send up about a pound and a half to two pounds of that poke to my son in LA. And then the delivery service forgot it here. So, check the refrigerator. Had this one day old poke that's been marinating and thought, why don't we convert this thing into something? So, guess what? We battered it, egg dipped it, and then we panko it. And we turned it into these little morsels. Mm-hmm. We're calling these the Corano Poke Poppers, and uh, they're just the bomb bomb. This here, this concoction is the Poke Popper. Comes out looking like these guys. 
from this. Well, it was poke. Dip, dip, pankod, bazanga, baringa. Mm-hmm.